Hello, parents and students. I hope this video finds you all safe and healthy. I know we've been through a very unique and trying time, uh, and I think that uh, we're going to work together. Hopefully, we can all work together to get through the school year and make it one that one we will obviously always remember, but also one that is productive and one that we can look back on and go, hopefully say one day to uh, our grandchildren that we actually learned uh, something during that, that year of 2020. Uh, my name is Coach Mike Maddox. Uh, I teach American History One here at Southview. I've been here for 19 years. Um, I'm also, I will mention that I'm also the men's and women's tennis coach and also the bowling coach here at Southview. If uh, your student is interested in any of those activities, I would certainly be uh, the one that you would want, that they would want to talk to or you would want to talk to. Uh, before I go any further, too, I'd like to go ahead and give you my email address. I check my email daily and I, I try to be very uh, very good and very quick about getting back to, to my parents uh, and students about any concerns or questions that they may have uh, to me about our course um, or about athletics. Uh, my email address is michaelmaddox at ccs.k12.nc.us. Uh, you can uh, email me anytime and I will, like I say, I will uh, uh, get back with you very quickly on that, just as quick as I possibly can. Um, so. Uh, let me uh, get in touch with me anytime you need to. Um, we're going to have a, this, like I said before, this is going to be a, a unique year uh, for us. We're going to begin the year, as, as you all know, virtually. Uh, we will not be in the classroom. Uh, hopefully we will come back into the classroom at some point in time. Um, we will be using a, uh, a program called Canvas. Uh, to to begin our uh, year, and we're also going to use it even if we come back into the classroom. It will con we will continue to use it throughout the school year. Uh, let me say this: uh, Canvas is new to me. Uh, I'm being trained on it uh, as we speak uh, and learning it. And uh, together, uh, all of us together, I think that we will have uh, no problems getting through it. And I think it will be a program that will be beneficial to us as we go. We will adapt and overcome, and and that's that's going to be sort of a motto that I'm going to try to, to stick with all year long. Um, it, it, again, uh, hopefully uh, I, I will be able to, uh, well, not hopefully, I will be able to uh, upload a syllabus on Canvas uh, over the course of the next few days to get to that you can a access that will give you a little bit more of a detail of our course and what we will be studying. Basically, American History 1 begins with uh, Mesoamerica, uh, which is the point in time where uh, the Americas were inhabited uh, solely by Native Americans. Uh, it will then go into, uh, we will then talk about uh, uh, the age of European exploration, and then we will begin uh, talking about the beginnings of the nation uh, and up through uh, past the Civil War into Reconstruction. We will touch briefly at the end of our course on westward expansion. Uh, and then that's where we will stop and, and your student will begin with, with American 2 at that point and move on through present day. Um, just, to, just to clue you in just a little bit on what I, what my, what I think about history, and I, first of all, I love it, uh, but also I try to teach my students uh, not only the successes of America and, and the founding fathers and the people that built this nation, but also the failures. Uh, the um, the things that were done well and the things that were done not so well. And I think it's important that we we note those and and so that we can show kind of a link to today's world. Uh, as far as expectation goes, uh, I ask very little. I ask respect from my students. I try to respect them. I treat them yet like young adults, um, and, uh, and 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 until they show me that I can't do that, and and that, that happens very seldom that I in my experience. Uh, as far as um, uh, what you what your student will need, uh, basically a little three ring binder notebook and a pencil uh, if we're in class and uh, a willingness to learn. Uh, anyway, I, I'll end this video, but I, I do uh, I look forward to teaching your child and I thank you for letting us teach your child. Uh, and if you need anything, get in touch with me. I'll get right back to you. Thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you guys on the 17th.